my St. Augustine Scott's lawn plan, integrate it with Melorganite and the next biostimulant pack for the 2020 growing season. Okay, so here's my Scott's lawn care plan for the 2020 season. And all this is based off of 1,600 square feet of St. Augustine grass. So uh, they'll come up with a plan for you based on the characteristics of your lawn and what you want to, you know, pretty much expect out of it after the growing season has come and gone. So, and that's to apply four applications of the Turf Builder Lawn Food. Uh, I'm starting kind of late this season, so um, I'll be taking on the late spring application of 423-21. Uh, 521 21 I know it says 21 but uh, um, that's just based on how I planned it today and um, you know it should say 20 20 season but that's okay we'll use this anyways so this year I'll be integrating the biostimulant schedule in with the Scott's lawn care plan for the 2020 season and um, this is the first time I'm doing this so it's just a test and um, in that biostimulant pack it contains Humic 12, RGS root growth stimulant, microgreen, and air eight liquid aeration. So um, if used correctly, I'll be getting a good supplement out of these to complement my Scott's lawn care plan. So I'll be using this application timing worksheet that comes with the biostimulant schedule to kick off my, um, you know, spring fertilization schedule. Um, I haven't applied the Scott's lawn care. Uh, you know, uh, turf builder lawn food yet. So, um, but I will be starting with uh, this, as you will see, uh, I will be starting with the biostimulant uh, humic 12, as you will see later on in the video. Um, and that's to, you know, I'm starting kind of late. I already know that. Uh, but so I'll be playing some catch up just, uh, but in due time, uh, we'll get where we need to be. Uh, I'll get where I need to be. Um, to get my St. Augustine grass rolling along and up to date for the 2020 growing season. All right, so I leave you guys with the rest of the biostimulant schedule that I'll be updating you on as time goes on. Uh, so I really hope you do follow along um, with this uh, coverage I'm doing here. And then to let you know that I will be also applying a Melorganite application every 45 days to go along with my biostimulant uh schedule and my scott's lawn care plan so um we will see, and it's something i've always done and i've always liked doing to my lawn uh i've always had good results from the Morganite. um and i assume a lot of you have too so we will see where the results of this takes us at the end of the uh 2020 growing season so before we get started on my 2020 fertilization schedule for uh my saint augustine grass uh, by applying the Humic 12 and Melorganite application, um, I want to leave you with a few before uh, photos of what my lawn used to look like at the end of the 2017 season. Um, and if you haven't seen my timeline video from 2017 to 2018, I recommend you go see that just so you can get comfortable of what, you know, you know, I had to go through that year just to get it back in shape. So um, these photos aren't pretty or anything like that. You're gonna be like, wow, uh, it's pretty nasty looking. So I've done quite a bit just to get it back up to speed, up to date and get it flourishing again. All right guys, so I got my St. Augustine grass right in front of me. A um, Couple things I wanted to go over were the problem areas of my grass. And uh, I don't know if you see, I've got, I've got four problem areas. And it's not that they're dead spots because they're not dead spots all the time. They are dead spots for a reason. Uh, those dead spots that you see right there in front of you, in that area adjacent to the driveway, some reason, for some reason, I keep growing ryegrass right there. And uh, I think I know why the reason for that. It's because I've ha I've had rye well I had ryegrass in the back at one time, and I every time I used to get you know done cut in the back I would come out to the front so I think there's some transfer of seeds going on there so um, you know and then that, and, and by doing that that's what caused you know um, that area of baldness to pretty much grow um, with ryegrass so now I've currently I've stopped doing that I don't mow the grass and then come to the front I actually got a separate lawnmower for the back and the front that way I don't take any type of grass from the back into the front 
and you know it, it's just bad it's just bad juju for me so I leave the lawnmower for the back and the front lawnmower for the front you know what I mean so this area of baldness I end up ripping up all the rye grass right just a couple days ago I ripped it all up because it's getting hot out here. Ryegrass is a cool weather, it's cool season grass, and it starts to turn yellow, pale, you know, uh, starts to burn up, and it doesn't look right, you know, with the St. Augustine as the St. Augustine's starting to come out of dormant season and stuff like that, and starting to green up, so obviously. So I pulled all the ryegrass out, and I'm left with uh, pretty much dead grass here in this area, and I'm left with, uh, I'm left with dead grass here, right up near my mailbox. Um, always growing ryegrass right there too. And then over here, adjacent to my rocks right here, I've got uh, dead grass here, where I also pulled up ryegrass. So, and then over here also, more ryegrass. All this area right here. And then it slowly just transitions into some Bermuda type of grass. Uh, which is another story I'll work on in another project. But uh, for these areas, these dead areas, this is where I applied the Humic 12. As my first, uh, not my first, you know, not the first thing I've done this season, but uh, it's first on the um, newsletter, you know, the the, the, the schedule, the little regimen he wants you, Ellen Hain wants you to, to follow to using your biostimulant pack and stuff like that. So I used, you know, for, I'm a little late on this. He wants you to use it in early spring. We're a little bit past early spring and stuff like that. So I'm nearly catching up, you know what I mean? So in the first of that regimen is to apply the Humic 12. Um, I applied the Humic 12 all over my lawn i've got a you know 1100 square feet of lawn right here saint augustine grass like i said it's may 2nd 2020 and then uh i've got about another 600 square feet of you know patch right here you know right up against the street so i applied humic 12 to all these areas at nine ounces per, you know, uh, what is it? Nine ounces per gallon per thousand square feet. To top it with that, I also added malorganite. I like to add malorganite, you know, on a monthly basis, every first of the month during the growing season or steer, steer manure. But um, the last time I applied steer manure to this lawn was, you know, closing out last season and stuff like that around, you know, I would say November, you know, right before it started to dip and everything started to go dormant and stuff like that. So um, this season already, March, let's see. March, I started off with uh, Scott's Crabgrass Preventer and stuff like that, early March. And then um, after that, I pretty much didn't do anything but apply Malorganite. Malorganite on, um, what is it, April 1st? 
And then now I'm getting into the biostimulant pack and Scott's uh, lawn food fertilizer in the next couple of days or so. But I wanted to get this Humic 12 down first and stuff like that. Or just to get on the schedule, you know, before it gets too late. But uh, nonetheless, I got the Humic 12 down. I got the Melorganite down. Um, that's what I'm going to work on with, you know, for right now. And you guys can go ahead and follow me along on this trip, you know, through the growing season to see if I can get these areas of St. Augustine to push in, you know, where you see dead areas, I'm sorry. Uh, because uh, I really want to tackle this problem this season. Um, you know, and I don't have, you know, too many weed problems or anything like that. Once you, touch, once you get St. Augustine going, it pretty much, you know, crowds out everything, cuts every other piece of weed off from even growing. So, um, you won't have a problem there. As long as you keep it fed, keep it chubby, keep it eaten, you know, keep it plying the nutrients, you won't, and, and like I said, and even that goes for like uh, bugs and stuff like that, grubs, um, even if they're in the lawn, they're not gonna be keep, keeping up with all the, you know, uh, you know, fertilization you're giving it and how fast it's growing and stuff like that. They're not gonna be able to eat through all that. It's just impossible. So if you can get your, you know, your St. Augustine lawn going, you know, into the winter, you know, looking nice, looking good, you know, come springtime next year, the challenges are gonna be very minimal to you. So I'm not gonna say you don't wanna upkeep and keep, keep following that same regimen you have, but you know, as far as, you know, preventatives and stuff like that, um, you know, if you're having trouble this season using, and you wanna use chemicals as far as like taking care of the grubs and stuff like that, or getting rid of all the weeds, you know, next year you might not have to do all that much or might not have to do anything at all maybe just get in there on your hands and knees and start picking up the weeds yourself. Um, but other than that, you know what I mean? The thing is, is to get your healthy, your, your, to get your lawn nice and healthy for uh, next season so you won't have to do so much. Maybe you won't have to spend so much money um, at taking care of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna run, uh, I'm gonna keep updating you guys on my lawn and stuff like that. And, um, you know, as it gets a little bit taller, you know, I'm might, I, I don't know how, you know what, I don't know how tall I wanna mow it this season. Maybe, I like it, I like it, you know, I like it chubby, you know. I like to be able to walk on this, you know, St. Augustine and hear it just crunch under your feet. It sounds so good. And the dogs love it. They, they love the St. Augustine because uh, they can use it as a back scratcher. But, uh, <laughs> right? And um, so, the goal is this season is to get my lawn green, chubby, flourishing, fill in all these dead spots, uh, follow the regimen. Uh, like I said, and then I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase those next products and stuff like that. Um, but... Right now, May 2nd, 2020, I wanted to show you, and well, I actually wanted to tell you what I applied uh, to my lawn. Also, what I applied before it, um, meaning for this season. Um, so, first thing, apply the humic acid, and that's what I did. I think the next thing I'm going to apply next week, or depending on what the, the, Regimen says as far as how to uh, use the next products properly, or at least you know get the best efficiency out of them. Uh, I'm gonna follow that schedule, and the next product on that is the RGS Root Growth Stimulant. Okay, so and if you don't know about the humic, uh, just from reading and stuff like that, uh, humic it's there to uh, basically uh, open up the ground for better like water infiltration you know, root growth, you know, to speed up the metabolism of your grass. Um, and also to, uh, you know, j just to get it to flourish, you know what I mean? So um, with that being said, and, and, and I, did I miss anything? I wanna make sure I didn't miss anything. 
if I, if I got any of this wrong or if I wasn't even close, go ahead and just tell me. It's okay. It's cool. I'm still learning. I'm a newbie about all this stuff. So, but uh, for me to get out here and show you guys what I got, you know, that's the first step. You know, don't be afraid to try something. Uh, that's the thing. You can't learn if you don't make mistakes. And a lot of times I have messed up. But it's part of the process. It's part of the process. If you get better at one thing, then you can start learning how to, you know, do it differently to make it faster, make it more efficient. But for right now, get out, get out there and just try it. Get out there and just try making your lawn work, making it, just getting it going. Whatever your, whatever your thing is, put yourself on a schedule and start rolling out with it. You know, writing everything down writing what works what doesn't believe me sooner or later it's all gonna be just second nature you're gonna hey say hey I gotta get out there and I gotta fertilize hey I gotta do this hey I gotta do that all right so I'll leave you with what my lawn looks like today uh, on the next update I'll be applying the the root growth stimulant um, to try to patch up these uh, you know the, the goal obviously is to patch up these dead spots in the grass over here right there and then over there this is a this is b c and then d so i got four areas i want to patch up so as time goes on i'll keep you updated on those areas and um hopefully you guys can learn something from me and maybe i can learn something from you like i said i, I take all criticism whatever i don't care it's all good so this is mopar for life saying hey peace out i hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't seen my updated timeline from 2000, 2000, 2017, 2018, this is the update to that. This video is the update to that. That way, you know, uh, you get comfortable, you get, uh, uh, a, you get, you know what my lawn used to look like. It was horrible. It was really horrible. I pretty much didn't have anything. It was a goner. Now my house looks, you know, 80 times better. You know what I mean? 80% better. I think I only had like 30% of lawn back then, but hey, whatever I did back then, it worked. That gave me the confidence to roll on, keep doing what I do, and keep trying to do better for my lawn. So it's 2020. We're going to make this lawn look chubby and green. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys in the next update. Mopar for life. Mopar family. Peace out. Phyllis. Uh huh. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh huh. What? Ow. Two hundred and fifty dollars for this.